So this is an Odent adjacent project I started recently. See Odin. Although I prefer to call it Coden since it sounds cooler. Coden is a project that compiles Odin to C. You might be pondering a couple of these questions right now. So there's three moderating reasons for why. For those unaware, I work for Jenga FX on a commercial real-time volumetric simulator called Embergen. And at Jenga FX, we write all our software, including Embergen, in Odin. One of the recurring problems we've had with Odin, however, has been LLVM. So LLVM is not entirely bad. It implements a ton of optimizations that get applied to our Odin code. It produces native executables for all the platforms we support. It's extremely quick and easy to build your own programming language with. However, those optimizations are spe often specific to C and C++, and they often break Odin code. As a result of that, the Odin project has had to disable a lot of optimizations within LLVM, otherwise it would miscompile code. LLVM is a moving target, and it's very hard and concerning for us to update it. For example, at Jenga FX, we still use LLVM 11. When the latest version, as of recording of this presentation, I believe is LLVM 15, or it might even be LLVM 16 at this point. So we're pretty far behind. We found that LLVM updates break quite easily, in part because it's such a fast moving target, and in part because it's a massive develop, uh, project with a lot of developers. And none of those developers are Odin developers, and it's not even evident if Odin is on their radar, right? So how could they be making the best decisions for Odin as a language? Um, similarly, none of the Odin developers have any upstream contributions with LLVM or to LLVM. So they're very disconnected and there's no real community between LLVM and the language that is Odin. LLVM also doesn't have the greatest debug support, um, especially on Windows. Uh, it supports the code view debug format, which is what Visual Studio's debugger uses, but support for it's only partially complete. And um, perhaps the worst thing is each new version of LLVM seems to get slower. And that is a big problem because that slows down the speed at which one can compile software written in Odin. So almost all the issues with Odin for ourselves and for others have been due to the decision to build the language on LLVM. The next motivating reason is speed. When I talk about speed, I'm talking about two types of speed. I'm talking about the speed at which one can compile something and I'm talking about the speed of the compiled code itself. Right now, for us personally, Embergen takes approximately 10 to 15 seconds to compile. So on a very productive day where I personally may compile, say, 240 times, that's a whole hour of the day spent compiling the project. Um, in a similar token, the speed of that compiled code is not that optimized either because Odin has to turn off a lot of those optimizations in LLVM. So Odin's speed can be tremendously improved with something more aware of the semantics of the language. The final motivating reason is that of debugging. So Odin's debugging experience is quite poor. Um, like I mentioned before, CodeView support is only partially complete thanks to LLVM. Um, the dwarf debugging format, which is what GDB and LLDB uses on Linux, uh, occasionally just crashes the debuggers for some reason. Um, there's no support for any of the hardening and instrumentation tools that most C and C++ programmers are aware of, like address sanitizer, thread sanitizer, memory sanitizer, um, fortify source, right? And the debuggers that most people do use largely assume the input is written in CRC++, right? The debuggers have no notion of Odin as a source language. Um, and as a final mention, 
Odin's Valgrind support is lacking too. So debugging in Odin can be greatly improved by leveraging C as the tooling space around C is far more mature. You might be wondering, well, how does one turn Odin into C code? Well, it's possible if you define a special subset of C, which I've called C0. So C0 behaves as an intermediate representation. It has a small set of instructions, and those instructions are represented by force inline functions in what I call a prelude. So this, um, this pseudo intermediate representation is almost single static assignment form, like an IR, but unlike a traditional IR, it has structured control flow because C already has structured control flow, right? So there is no fine nodes. Um, C0 also removes undefined behavior from C at this instruction level. And I'm, I'll touch on that in a minute. And of course, the most important fact, C0 compiles a C code, as long as you pair it with that special prelude uh, at the beginning of the file. So that prelude is just more code written in C that implements those instructions as force inline functions. And as a result of this, C0 is both an intermediate representation, but it's also just C code, right? So you can use existing incremental build tools for faster builds. You can use existing debuggers and instrumentation tools for debugging. You get the whole, you know, tool space that C has. So here's an example of a factorial function written in Odin on the left and translated into C0 on the right. You're going to see some green boxes here and some red boxes. Um, the green boxes are, of course, instructions, and the red boxes are operands. If you look carefully uh, at the recursive call to factorial, it also contains an operand. And that's because all functions in C0 must take an operand, and all operands are just regular local variables. And the reason for this is because in Odin, a procedure call evaluates its arguments from left to right, while in C, the order of evaluation of arguments to a function call is undefined. So to work around the undefined behavior, I've defined C0 in this way, and the code in project generates C0 in this way that every operand becomes a local variable. That way, the semantics that Odin provides is correctly maintained in C0. Um, and it's this transformation in particular that almost makes C0 a single static assignment form. So that's one example of avoiding undefined behavior in C with respect to the function call evaluation order. Uh, but C has a lot of undefined behavior, right? And Odin, the programming language, just doesn't. Um, so how is it possible to avoid that undefined behavior when we're compiling it to C, right? When we're translating it to C? Um, well, you just define the behavior at the instruction level. So for example, in C, signed integer overflow is undefined. In Odin, it's defined to wrap. So here's two possible implementations of 32-bit signed integer addition that avoids the overflow. Right? The first implementation here just converts things from the 32-bit type to a 64-bit type to do the addition, and then it just masks it back off and truncates it to a 32-bit result. Right? And compilers optimize this just fine. Um, however, as of 2023, uh, there's a new version of C that just came out, C23, uh, and it requires signed integers have two's complement representation. So now you can actually get the correct behavior simply by evaluating it as an unsigned addition and casting it to a signed. So it's even easier. So here's that factorial procedure from earlier in Coden, uh, translated to uh, C, zero, and you can see how it optimizes. 
right? It optimizes just fine. And this is at 01, one of the lowest optimization levels we support. At 03, it completely vectorizes it and unrolls it. This is something that the current Odin compiler cannot do. So C0 is an intermediate representation that can be compiled by a regular C compiler. It's not novel. It's not special in any ways. It's just a very interesting solution to a problem that the Odin language faces. Um, so let me just discuss a bit about the Coden project in particular. Uh, so Coden is structured like a regular compiler with phases. So it has your common lexical phase, which produces lexemes, and your common parse phase, which produces an abstract syntax tree. Where it gets interesting, though, is the lowering phase, which converts this abstract syntax tree uh, into a simpler form that's more amenable to C0. Once you have that simpler form, right, uh, you just traverse it in like some sort of post order and you can just generate C0 flat, right? And then, of course, we emit that special prelude at the beginning that contains the implementations of those instructions. And the end result of that is just a regular C file that can be compiled by a regular C compiler. So the main goal of this project is to compile a production-ready Embergen within the next six months. And of course, here's all the details of the project, including this slide deck um, and some more you know, technical stats for the people interested in it, right? So GitHub's here, slides are here. It's currently 10,000 lines of C11. Um, it generates C11 code because that's the version of C that introduced the memory model that's also used by C++ and also used by Odin, and we rely on that same memory model. Um, the way that the actual compiler works for those who are more interested in the algorithmic aspects of it, um, it's technically a linear transformation of what is called a mildly context sensitive tree rewriting system. And of course, any help would be, would be great because this is a massive project and a massive undertaking. Um, as of recently, both the Coden project and the Odin project have teamed together to work on C0 as its own separate programming language slash IR that's going to be shared by both compilers. So the official Odin compiler will have a C0 backend. Coden will also be an Odin compiler written in C that uses C that uses the C0 programming language. We will have a shared project that we use, but there will now be two implementations of the compiler, which means two implementations of the language. Um, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact me on GitHub, either the issue tracker or on Discord uh, if you know who I am, and I will be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for your time, and here's hoping to a great future for the Odin programming language.